Right, I'm going to exclude the current news from this question. Oh boy. Question 197. What gets too much attention in the news? I can tell you what doesn't get enough attention. <laughs> What's your the time? flat earth. <laughs> the answer to that. Yeah, okay. Sorry. The wrong thing. Oh. The wrong thing. You know what does? Celebrities. Why do uh, yeah. we care what celebrities are doing? I don't. I don't care that they're the yeah. going to I or don't. the awards they're going to. I don't give a fuck. Actually, I would add to that questions. sports. Why the fuck the are the sports too. on I'm the gonna news? I'm going to go with something super obvious real quick and a celebrity relation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. DeRosa says, bullshit gets too much attention. Mm -hmm. uh, Santi says, watch GRSM. It is gender, romantic, and sexual minorities. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, <laughs> clarified my previous question. New, or how new is it, Hunt? Oh, it's, um, it's 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 like a decade old, but it's only really become into popular uh, usage in the last few years. Oh, okay. So it's been around a lot longer than I thought it was. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else? Sorry, I, I, lost, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, what do you think gets too what much? Are we talking about oh, attention okay. in the news. <laughs> sorry. We've got celebrities. We've got sport. We've got relationships. I would. I would say, even though it is important to a point, I would say the uh, country relationships, especially in the Middle East, you know, they they don't necessarily go into the good stuff that's happening over there. They only want to show what's getting blown. Don't get me wrong. We need to understand that some of that could eventually overhear. But when you dwell on it, you don't show what the good guys are actually doing. If you want to really define if there's a good guy over there. We'll put that one aside. <laughs> but yeah, that one's definitely one that's always been big. Was what's going on in the Middle East, and I'm talking even even when I was a kid, you know, before uh, we went over there the first time in Desert Storm, the Middle East was always big on the news. Mm -hmm. Sal, um, I guess it's a function of where I am. Uh, for those who don't know, I'm in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, um, and it's a Catholic theocracy out here. Uh, so I'm going to have to say uh, religion, because we had, he's not here anymore, he went to D.C. We had Donald Worrell here as an archbishop, for example, who was a newsmaker there for a while. Um, there's always some sort of church function going on with um, somebody's blessing, some stupid ass piece of shit and everything else. And it makes the Post Gazette, and it's like, why is that even in a newspaper? Um but I guess, as I say, it's a function of being here. What am I doing here? Any oh, I remember. I can't afford to leave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm going to feel that one. I was going to say a lot. A lot of people. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think. I, I, no one seems to be happy in the state they're in. Mm, no. <laughs> it's I, I really move, strange that I, I want to move to Arizona or Australia. One of them. <laughs> not I am kidding. not Montana to uh, raise up a crop of dental floss. No. No, no, no. Uh, but it, it's really amazing. I never thought this would ever happen. But I have lived half my life, or well, more than half my life, here in Pittsburgh. I, I grew up in Cleveland, so I don't know whether that was a step up or a step down. To tell you the absolute truth, um, but yeah, I never, I never thought that I would be, you know, spending essentially my entire life in a couple of honky towns. But what are you gonna do? I, I, I never saw myself in California, like to stay the way I did. But here I am. I'm a, I'm from New York, and I've been here. No years. kidding. I could not yep. fucking tell. Yeah. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is I really. Interesting. I almost would insult him and say, "I thought you were from Boston," and you know that's going to start a fight. Oh, no, no, not a match. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Jersey. If I said oh, you're you just all, call it <laughs> worse. <laughs> That's just insulting. <laughs> I'm saying, if I said I'd rather be an asshole. <laughs> 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 I'm talking true. People from Massachusetts are assholes. We were not fond of them, but my family's from there, so. Or fuck my family. Like rather be <laughs> Jerusha says, I lived half my life locked inside because it's cold as shit in Nebraska. Oh, man. I can imagine. Yeah. Oh, but I, I remember uh, 
out being outside Yankee Stadium waiting to get into a, a game, and there was a couple, uh, a married couple. He was a Boston fan. She was a Yankee fan. Mm. Don't even ask me how the hell they stayed together. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> hard. I, I'm a, oh. like that. That, that, that would be I'm Auburn. New Yorkers who hated the Yankees, like, like, how, what's wrong with you, dude? Like, <laughs> we're in a bar, you're the only asshole wearing a Boston cap. <laughs> 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 oh my! And uh, oh well, yeah, I'm a baseball fan. I really yeah, I, I someone has to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, when I was kid, yeah. Yeah. oh my god! <laughs> when I, when I, I not get over how boring. Like when I was when I was a teenager, um, I used to spend the summers with my brother, and we would go around. He he loved the White Sox, so we would go up to Chicago, or we'd go to Kansas City when they would play. I mean, those things are long and nothing happens. Like it's just, oh, I'm sorry, it's so fucking boring. <laughs> so, so, Dave, are you a cricket fan or a, a real football fan? I cannot stand sport in any way, shape, or form. Okay. <laughs> Good for I, know you, I, Dave. I know I liked you for a reason. I got <laughs> hockey. That's it. I live where no, I live. Okay, I, I live at what is basically a meeting point of two Premier League football teams. Oh, I spent my, my entire life man. being accused of supporting whatever team that person doesn't support. <laughs> That's like here with college uh, American football. If you don't subscribe to one of them, you're obviously yes. a heathen. That's it. I was so happy that my first time at uni, it was at a uh, small school, um, you know, like NCAA level three or some shit like that. Nobody, nobody paid attention to any of that stuff. And then when I went back the second time around, I went to University of Pittsburgh, but I was 35 and I, I was too serious about studying to care about any of the sports. So uh, that, that really, ser really served me well. Mm. I don't get me wrong. I don't no, begrudge my, my, anyone that plays sports. My, I enjoy playing some sports, but mm -hmm, as, no. as, as, as an industry, as a spectator thing, I think they should all go in the bin. <laughs> yeah. Now, when I was a kid, I wanted to pitch in the worst way, and unfortunately, I did. So uh, that just didn't get me anywhere. Yeah. Go on, Amanda. Sorry. <laughs> no, my undergrad was at a huge school. And everybody went for football, and they would drag me. And the thing was, for some reason, we had to we stood that like the students had one section, and then everybody else had to cross the way. And we would fucking stand the whole time. And I hate football, and I hate fucking standing for three hours at a time. And it, 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 it. So, but yeah. It was a big school. Uh, right, back to the question. <laughs> what what? Sal, what yeah, gets too much question? attention? Sal, get, <laughs> what gets too much attention in the news? Um, uh, Hollywood definitely gets way too much attention. Mm. Living on both East Coast and West Coast in the United States, um, yeah, there's, there's too much emphasis on Hollywood and not enough on, I don't know, just shit that should be said, not make-believe. I've got to say, how many of you are old enough to have gone start the twenty four hour news cycle? Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember fifteen minute news programs. Yeah, yeah. but they didn't have yeah, to I, fill twenty four hours a day. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, right, right. I remember, like, you had to wait for the radio newscast to come on. Like, yeah, I, I know what that is. Or you'd be yeah. watching a local channel and it'd be like, "Here's your fifteen minute local news." Right. Yeah, and uh, right. Hunter Brinkley report. For Christ's sake! I'm mean, I'm ancient, okay. <laughs> You're not that ancient. I'm I'm up there with you guys. <laughs> Paul said, I'm "Bloody Donald Trump." <laughs> is this the problem? Paul, Paul Paul says, "Donald blood bloody Trump." The problem is, as much as I wish I didn't have to hear more about him, I fear if we weren't hearing about him right now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's like a toddler. I think we got to keep like... a spotlight shown that direction. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a toddler. When you when you have a toddler, if you ever had any kids, the younger they are and the quieter they are, the more you need to worry. <laughs> yeah. well, the best one of the best well, memories. Gets... One of the best memories from my, my my daughter's being young is we're in the computer room and she's in her bedroom and she ever so slowly comes in, walks into the room and says, "Don't worry about the dog," and leaves. <laughs> 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 That's awesome. Yeah. Well, you know what my son does? I mean, he's 16, but he will open my door and look at me and go, hey, fuck wit, and close the door. So. <laughs> oh, man. That would have gotten my jaw dislocated. Yes. Oh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, I would have been laid out. Yeah, I would have been laid the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be <laughs> meeting myself <laughs> next week going, shit, what was that? <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Well, how many yes, times is. did the male slimy bastard throw punches at me? But that's grist for another meal. I'll have to do a show about that one day. Oh. That sort of thing, uh, mm -hmm. just staying with my own case. <laughs> if you enjoyed that, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. If you think you've got a better answer or just want to tell us how wrong we are, leave a comment down below. Subscribe down here for new questions every day and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on our live shows. If you click over here, you'll see our latest upload. Over here for what YouTube thinks you'll love the most. And finally, for a complete playlist of all our currently recruited least questions, click here.